Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Fleming. I'm an internal medicine physician and a Tennessee Tech graduate. And I wear a mask because of what we know, and maybe more importantly, what we don't know about COVID-19. And from my heart to your heart, please care about other people and yourself and wear a mask. Wearing a mask is the easiest and most effective way to protect yourself and others from spreading this virus. The studies have been done. You know, we, we don't, they've already been done. Actually, Jim, I did a PubMed search of effectiveness of masks and I found 721 studies. So when people say, we just don't know, I would say, yeah, we've got a pretty darn good idea. Washing our hands, uh, keeping apart, staying apart. I mean, there's so much. Well, yeah. yeah, at least we can do is wear a mask. We need to wear a mask, but we need to think, think bigger. One reason that I wear a mask is out of respect for my students who are working on the front lines now. When you don't wear a mask, that increases stress on the healthcare system, and our frontline workers are already weary. Please wear a mask. Wear a mask just to protect those people that have to, to see people on a regular basis, and they're wearing uh, N95s all day long. So yeah. their discomfort is much greater than yours. So I just want to say I love the community and that is why I wear a mask. We wear a mask because we want to protect all of ourselves and we want to continue having a future for ourselves and our family. I wear a mask so that you feel safe coming to me. I don't want any barriers between me and you this semester. There are four recent studies that WebMD put out where they looked at young asymptomatic people and that is they were infected but hey they felt fine. They did things like CT scans of the lungs and they found significant pathological damage. In 40%, 40%, are those gonna last a lifetime? That's the big question, because if they do, that 40% are in for a rude awakening as lung function decreases just with age as it always does. So kids have got to know this. You know, another uh, thing that I'm concerned about is all this talk about people who tested positive that had no symptoms at all. See, there, it's, it's a harmless disease. But re remember, they can recover the virus from just surfaces. Think about all the air that goes in and out of your nostrils. Just because the virus is in the mucus in your nose, it doesn't mean that it infected your tissues. It doesn't really mean that you're shedding virus, and it doesn't mean that you will have antibodies. Only the virus that invades your tissues will and multiply are, spread, are really true spreaders. It's just important to get the information that we do know out in public in, in a way that the public can see that information. Shout out to Chattanooga. They have dramatically decreased the number of cases that they've seen per day. So this is the seven day average of new cases after instituting their mask mandate. The Upper Cumberland region in Putnam County, this region has no mask ma mandates with the exception of Warren County. So Warren County did institute a mask mandate and we saw a dramatic decrease in the number of cases per day in Warren County. We have not seen that trend in Putnam County or in the Upper Cumberland. And in fact, we've seen an increase of new cases per day that we really need to control. So please wear a mask, save a life. My hairdresser yesterday, she said, you know, I don't, I don't love wearing a mask. And I said, I don't think any of us love wearing a mask. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I did. But I, she said, I will wear the mask if that means normal life can go on and I can do what I need to do. And she said, you know, it's, it's, when I, it's when I get the, the simple statement that this virus isn't really well known about. This virus can be shared through uh, touching a doorknob, something that is very simple. And then you walk through the process, the mechanism of, well, once you touch the doorknob, all kinds of little nasty, unknown particles get on your hand. And who knows where that goes from there. So it's best just to take your precaution. There's no reason that we should have to learn again that you can get it under control by wearing masks. It's really a safety issue. I've got more personal stories to this. That is why I personally wear a mask. Wings up, everybody.